Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. No Step Back DLC enabled. That was my first campaign recorded um, with the, at the time I was recording, newest DLC. I'll let you know that Paradox did give me early access to this so I could record this and see what happens. So we'll kind of explore what happens. Now we're on A Historical, just because we want to go down and get a certain dude. A certain Habsburg on the throne here for Poland, but assemble the Regency Council. The Act of the 5th of November was a promise made by the Central Powers to release a free and independent Polish kingdom out of the ashes of the Russian Empire. The resulting Regency failed to find a monarch before surrendering all powers to Pilsudski, but with a Senationist unable to form a stable government. Perhaps it was time we reestablished the Regency to find Poland her rightful king. Which, right now, before we even uh, finish that one off, we get a bunch of people as political advisors. We have national spirits, the fifth or the April Constitution. We have a looming peasant strike. Oh, that's not good. We have low sanation left opposition and low sanation right opposition. Ah, goodbye, dude. Goodbye. Hello, Regency. Now, uh, like I said earlier, over here, we do have eventually a looming peasant crisis and our strike. So we need to get to a gearing reform pretty quickly. We'll get there in just a little bit. I do want to do a couple of these first. You can alliance with the Kaiser. No. Fulfill the 5th of November Act. With the Regency Council reassembled, it's time to open the doors to any and all royal applicants seeking to claim the Polish throne. When it's completed, potential candidates for the Polish throne will present themselves to become King of Poland via event. Cool. And remove we, the April 5th Constitution, which is fine with us. Totally, totally fine. We're still getting Regency Council support, but after this one, uh, I don't know how, how quick the events are going to fire, so... Uh, we'll see what happens, but like I said earlier, this was given to me with early access, so yeah, cool. And thank you, thank you very much, Paradox, for if they're watching at all, giving me early access. I do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, the four-year plan. We must plan for the expansion of our infrastructure to accommodate not only our present industry but also the future. Uh, which I do want to get to Polish school of mathematics. We want to fill in the railway gaps, which would be important, and of course, a gearing form. Our military is okay to start off with. Including uh, the cavalry divisions, which are oh god, only six combat with, but they do have recon, but they're only six combat with. And then I do want to feature the, the cavalry quite a bit, but we do have 18 combat with infantry divisions. Now, the time of recording, I'm not exactly sure what is the best route for us in terms of <clears throat> combat with the whole naval, well, not naval meta, but army meta, like since combat with military doc doctrine stuff has been changed. And really, right now, we should really focus on getting as much army XP as possible. So we'll see what happens. Let's see, we can go and reorganize the railway system by redirecting building materials and railway workers. We can quickly create a small number of makeshift supply dumps along some of our railways. This is, however, not a sustainable way of running the system. And commander, or co commandeer civilian trucks or trains. <clears throat> The merchant rail companies hold sway over our infrastructure. With war looming, we are well within our rights to commandeer equipment for state use, which is not bad. We could use some trains, honestly, immediately. Uh, do we need trains? I mean, I did already motorize a lot of the stuff here, so we need trucks. So we need to research trucks. For just Christian claims the throne. Margrave of Meissen and Prince of Saxony, Albert Leopold Friedrich Christian Sylvester Anno Makaria seeks to add King of Poland to his many prestigious titles. Many great monarchs of the Commonwealth were members of the House of Wetten and Saxon electors, and with our nation now seeking a king, Friedrich Christian seems the most obvious and legitimate candidate for king. With a claim to the Commonwealth on his side, electing Friedrich will undoubtedly strengthen our government's claim to all former Commonwealth territories, a claimant to Lithuania. A member of a historic Polish Roman family, royal family, and a prestigious bloodline at his back, Friedrich Christian brings with him a strong claim to the king, Kingdom of Poland. He's our king? Eh, I'd like to. And I'll probably do his route eventually, but that's a Commonwealth claimant. Which is very nice, a royal legitimist, but uh, we have another in mind for now. We have another one in mind. Uh, let's go and I don't want to get that one done as fast as possible, but the Polish School of Mathematics. Mathematics is central to almost all things in the technological sector. All across Poland, from Lviv to Warsaw, the mathematical schools are flourishing. We must capitalize on this golden age of Polish thinkers and grant these men all that they need to make Poland the technological powerhouse it deserves to be. Absolutely. And now we have the modified officer corps. Um, eh, more command power increase. Uh, and lose naval experience gain. I don't know about that. I think we're going to wait a little bit for that first. But like I said, we're on ahistorical. So is anyone doing any ahistorical stuff already? Germany? Um, we're not really entirely sure what everyone's doing yet because their description is really, really bad. This has a second London Navy Naval Treaty signed. Alright, Canada, what are you doing? Anything up there? Anything special? 
Anyone want to kill each other yet? No, it's okay. It happens. Cool. Yeah, so after... Oh, actually, now we have 111 PP. So with all, this whole thing, we need to get some more experience. And I do want to get to partial mobilization pretty quickly, but... Right now, we're building up okay-like. We need to get as much army XP as fast as possible. It's not bad. Plus 0 0.09, plus 0 0.06, plus 0 0.09. That's really strong. Honestly, I want to start working on air doctrine. Or not air doctrine. Army XP. Because we want to get... The more army XP you get, the faster you can actually add in the next land auction. You just can't research land auction immediately. Which kind of sucks, but it makes a lot more sense. And I kind of like the new system that we have in here. The Habsburg candidate, though. A royal Habsburg and a Polish patriot. Karl Albers von Habsburg has been in service of the Polish military almost as long as such an organization has been in existence. Whose bloodline is not native to this soil. His willingness to fight and die for Poland makes him an ideal candidate for the throne. Though it would seem that Archduke has little ambition for rulership. Perhaps he may be persuaded to serve Poland not in arms, but in leadership. We desire another. A Habsburg Poland is born. Yes. Oh, hello, uh, Karl Albert I feels like Kaiser right now, almost. A German on the throne of Poland? Why not? Basic machine tools. Let's go and get some more dispersed industry. Yes, please. Anything else here? No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Please, yes. And we, we do not get any more daily non alliance support. So when is it? Ooh, 208 days. That's not good. Ooh. Well, it seems like we'll probably fill the railway gaps in first, then. Unless we need... Yeah, I guess one first. Poland was once divided between three powers, and as such, our railway networks are distant and unconnected. We must unite these three separate railway lines into one if we were to make Poland the centralized industry we need it to become. Which, railways... Um, at the time of this recording, I'm still learning how railways work, so if you know how they work perfectly, please let me know in the comments below. Well, at least we have a fourth research slot. We're not completely backwards here. And I'm immediately researching trucks, because trucks help us with our motorization, and when supply gets really bad, it, it gets really bad. It gets god-awful. Oh my goodness, I cannot tell you how bad it can get sometimes. But what is Russia up to, or the Soviet Union? How should we tell? Um, I guess, well, whatever happens, happens. We won't exactly know. Is anything going up or down here? No, 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 no not yet. The Reich, are you... They read militarize around them, so... That's not good. That's really, really, really not good for us. Hmm. But at least Spain is falling apart. That's nice. Ursus? Yes. Let's see, anything else here? And we have the whole new tank stuff here. Uh, light tanks, let's go with some light tanks. Follow it up with some planes, yes. Yes, sounds good to me, sounds good to us. And let's immediately start working on trucks. There you go. Because we have 0% logistics fulfillment. That kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Oh boy. Yeah, hmm. Maybe I should have made Germany go monarchist. <clears throat> Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how long we can hold out. Now let's get this time. Now let's get some more... Uh, go to partial mobilization, because we need to build. We need to build. I'll just go off my bad. Well, we have nine now. It's not bad. Not great. Not bad, though. And then, a gearing reform. A peasant strike is on the horizon all across the country. Food prices are skyrocketing, both are disjointed industry. And the government's lack of action to aid Poland's poorest can cause, cause great unrest in the peasantry. With sufficient investment and reform, however, we should be able to become more than capable of demeaning the peasants' demands. We we'll be late by 70 days when this focus is selected. And we just remove it. So just one, one simple focus, and then we feed pretty much all the peasants, and they will never rise up. Do we get more resources here? Not bad. Not bad. Cool. And for this stuff, like, theorists, it just helps you reduce the cost of getting your line doctrine done. It's actually really good, too. The other support for underline, but that's more of a historical one to go, so. After this one, I think we'll finally go ahead and probably go down more of the Habsburg routes, yes? Yes? You, me, and a lot of Habsburg routes. There we go. Slightly better. And be able to produce faster. Logistics is looking slightly better. Fuel's looking slightly better as well. Um, National Defense Fund, minus 15% is pretty good, but right now, we're at, oh, 29%. Yeah, that would definitely help us out. I want to see what we can do this, because we need to move quick. We gotta move quick against the Germans. So, the Soldier King, oh, another 70 day focus, oh god. Um, uh, let's get some more, ooh, oh, hello, Otto, will Empire rise again? Restore the Diet of Galicia, because we need to add the Royal Sejum, which gives more stability and daily support for line. And, oh, we get more political power too. The Diet of Galicia and Lodomeria represent a Habsburg rule over Poland. And now that Habsburg sits on her throne, it seems only right that the Diet be restored as a Diet of Poland. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. I, I, don't, I don't want more trains. I want trains. Are we making trains? We are making trains. Oh, get some specific trains. Which, if you don't know, trains are now under support equipment. Oh, this wasn't here last time. War austerity train. So this is our civilian train. Go choo 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 choo. Seventy production cost. We want to get armor trains, which gives you quite a bit more armor, a little more costly. Uh, helps it. Uh, it's less vulnerable to attack, which is very good. Can carry as much cargo as any other design, but it's more expensive to produce. Nice. And then we have railway guns, which you can actually use as use on your army. So a heavy cannon mounted on a railway carriage for transportation. Reliability, production cost, service manpower. And look at that thing. I like big guns. I like big cannons. Alright, so it is 36 still. I forgot to get research speed. Gosh darn it. Mr. Mocha Lover. Mr. Polish Lover. Oh my goodness, why? All we have is a four-year plan. Kind of sucks. But that's okay. At least, I'm so glad that Paradox gave me early access so I can actually see what the updated Polish tree here was going to be like. Oh my goodness, the old Polish tree when Hoi 4 first came out. Oh boy. Oh boy, but once again, thank you to Paradox for, uh, Giving me early access. Cool. Uh, let's see the King's Guard. Why are these 78 focuses? Oh my gosh. Because we gotta go, go through here. Oh, also, another thing that I think Paradox has been trying to keep up of is like closing down. Or at least, uh, who is that? Oh, yes, please. Um, like removing parts of the focus tree that you just can't do anything with once you go down, down a certain path. So it's a lot tighter. It doesn't look nearly as big, but it's definitely tight, and I do appreciate that from Paradox. That's very nice. Also, we need to figure out, do clubs down on Danzig or not? Do you have a Polish shipping building industry? I kind of clubbed down on Danzig. It's a 35-day focus, but I want to get through this as fast as possible. And the Nazi party. Um, I want to clump down on Danzig. Let's see what happens. Officially, Danzig is a free city under Polish protection, but as of late, the city has fallen into Nazi control and is a puppet to Adolf Hitler in all but name. This blemish on our northern border is nothing but an obstruction to Polish trade, and we must reassert control over the city, or risk crumbling to the Germans. Yeah, let's try that. Uh, because right now, eventually, right now we have an embargo economy, but it's really bad. As you can tell, it's really not great. Oh, hello. As soon as going communist, huh? Uh... Also, I didn't check out what they're... Oh, they're a puppet. Oh. They're a puppet. They have Axis Investments. Catholic Opposition. I did not check out the Estonian Independent SSR thing. Holy... Ooh. So, this, I think this should be... Sort of Generico, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. No. Oh, you have a Generico history. So... Latvia. Okay, so maybe is someone is someone is someone not. Interesting. I did not see the street. I did not look at the street at all before we uh, started. So Lithuania. Oh, okay, I can actually see what they're doing. What were they doing? Exile of all the Maras. The Forest Brothers. That's not bad. Lithuanian preservation. They should get a king. But a king with us. Support monarchism in Poland. The kingdom of Poland. Uh, we are a historical, so there's no guarantee that whatever we choose will be stable. So we might go crash and burn in this campaign. We'll see. Uh, also, we have the tanks is already unlocked. Um, we can talk about this. I just want to make get the first land action done, maybe. Actually, you know what? Since we're here anyways. So I've not explored this too much, but petrol electric engines destroy your reliability, which is not very good. Um, gasoline engines are nice. I like the speed, especially for light tanks. So we're going to go with that. Is that only cost? Oh, it only costs one. That's nice. Does it actually hurt our armor? Oh, it does hurt our reliability. Oh boy, that sucks. Um, we have riveted armor. We have cast armor as well. Let's see. We've got non-track suspension, which drastically hurts our hardness and reliability. And then we have track suspensions. Oh, torsion bar. Three. It gives you more reliability, which is nice. But I want speed. I want. I we want to go fast here, right? Mm, this is not a great tank. Previous stage does go up too. Oh, we can select the model too. Yeah, use best match. Um, you know, it's best to wait. I'd like to get all this stuff, but it's best to wait. I don't know how much armor we're gonna use, and we need more army XP. Like, I wish we could send like divisions away and just get some more stuff. But mm. well, who do we have over here now? More industrialist. Uh, oh, consumer goods factor. That's really good. Stability. Daily support front of the line. Noble bureaucrat. Uh, let's go with the noble bureaucrat. Yeah. 
get the extra political power. That's going to be super helpful for us. I like political power. I like PP, so it is what it is. Uh, support monarchism. Oh, and yes, Czechoslovakia. Habsburg rule over Czechoslovakia is quickly fading into distant memory, but now with the Habsburg on her throne and the Polish identity standing strong, we're in a position to promote West Slavic identity and press the Habsburg claim on Bohemia. Hey, we got it. Nice. Um, honestly, if I had to make anything, it'd be the subs. Uh, they're not very good, though. We're not going to make that many anyway, so it's fine. We have 10 convoys, too. Uh, yeah. There you go. Hey, let's get more naval XP down. What is this? Oh, we got resistance. That sucks. Holy crap, that's a lot of resistance. 42% already? We begin with 42%? What the heck? Um, Alright, is that too? Cool. Oh, here we go. Free city of Danzig. It's been a thorn in the side of the Polish economy for too long. It is time we take control of the city, but such a thing can only be achieved with some degree of collaboration with the locals. Unification propaganda. It's a culturally diverse city of Poles, Germans, and countless other minorities, and the Nazi party seeks to disrupt this multicultural cooperation. Effective propaganda. Can be utilized between the city's minorities who are aside, promising them the equality the Nazis would sooner die than give them. Oh, okay. It's not bad. Got some more political power, though. Military appeasement. The free city of Danzig cannot be integrated with brute force alone. Some degree of appeasement may make the Danziger militia more aligned with Poland's vision for the city. Raid Nazi resistance. Ah, uh, there are those in the city who would hand the key to the freedom over to the Nazis and make the city subservient to Berlin. These elements must be eliminated from the city walls or city at all costs, though through harsh military action may have adverse effects on how we per are perceived by the locals. I'd rather do that one. You lose resistance, get more compliance, which is nice. Resistance, growth speed, and so Danzig itself has an internet. He's an international city. Um, there's this one, Scorched Earth, for five political power, damaging them and preventing repairs. So this is going up by 0.4. Holy crap, 0.5. Still going up a little bit, 0.2, 0.6. Jesus Christ, that's uh, pretty nuts. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty nuts. Resistance, growth speed, that would help. Uh, Titan control. We've further gained enough compliance in the city to further Titan control without causing civil unrest with this. We should gain more access to the Danzig resources and grow ever closer to achieving unity in the city. And we make them remove international city where they get international city back, but it does give us more compliance, so basically we have to choose this one. Not bad. Interesting. I'll get that arm XP every single day. And I I'd love to send volunteers over here, but we don't have... Actually, yeah, we can't... We can't uh, Oh, we don't have full attention. Oh, man, this, this campaign is going to be kind of, a, kind of a weird one. It's going to be kind of a weird one. So Danzig, eh? Danzig. Uh, 0.3. Does it go to 0.6? Or... Yeah, it does. Oh, crap. Not Bueno. Royal Hussars. King of Bohemia. Let me get these guys too. That'd be good. The Soldier King. Our king longs to fight for his country on the front lines, but as a ruler, we cannot allow him to be placed in such mortal danger. Perhaps by granting him a position as field marshal, he may serve as a unifying symbol to our nation in crisis while satisfying his hunger for combat. We'll see. Anything else here? Actually, what did that do for us? Anything yet? New. No, 36%. So, so high. Oh, it's going down. It's going down now. That's good. Resistance to decay is going down. We have civilian oversight. Oh. All the extra compliance helped out so much. Oh, Mexico is killing itself, which is nice, 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 nice. Also, in this new DLC, weather has much bigger impact on supply and logistics and just stuff like that in general. So, good. Oh, hello. Oh, would you look at this? We have the Soviet Union and the provisional Russian government. Stalin and his focus tree versus who is this? Oh, just the provisional government. Non-aligned. The troops... Oh, it's ours. Five-year plan. Russian Air Force. Kind of sucks. The Russian Army. Very cool. Oh. Provisional Russian government. I've never seen this one. Okay. It's very similar to the to, uh, the actual focus tree, but... Organize the Rutgers. The true stars. Nice. Let me see if I'll completed that one. Cool. Propaganda is Monica sentiment. Yes. With Karl Albrecht I now sitting on the Polish throne, we have the divine right to claim the Kingdom of Bohemia as a rightful part of our nation. So we just need more monarchy support here, huh? The Second Russian Civil War. A noble cause. Oh, change the United Front. Austria votes you know, with Hungary. Oh! You know what? I like sandwiching Czechoslovakia between two 
Habsburg nations. Otto? Otto! Carl! But which one's the real one? Which one's a real claim to the throne? That's that's a real question. We're gonna need all the help we can get to fight them them Nazis. The King's Guard would not be bad either. Institute Royal Hussars would be very nice too. Hmm. I don't mind doing this one. Arm Habsburg militants. Yeah. I want to press the Habsburg claim though. Oh, we can't do that one though because oh, that is not good. We demand Habsburg rule. Oh, so if they were did not go, oh, that sucks. Did not go with that route. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. The following will bypass the focus. King of Hungary, Otto von Habsburg, is the current leader. Okay, so maybe just auto bypass. That'd be kind of cool. See what happens. Officer Corps, King's Guard. Oh, getting 50 more army XP is going to be really nice. Let's just do Royal Hussars because we don't get down here quickly. The Wing Hussars are among of Poland's most famous soldiers, and though the age of Hussar combat is long since over, the practice of cavalry combat remains strong in Poland and needs only a little support to become the envy of the world. Nice. Alright, so we got that stuff. How's uh, Danzig looking? Looking not too bad. It'll, it'll get there. Yeah, it's fine. Wow, plus 0.7 compliance. That's pretty good. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Still training, still training. Looking good, looking good. Soldier King. God, I do not want to fight the Nazis, though. That's why I want to get Czechoslovakia quickly so we can get their factories and use them, but then... Then again, I mean, this is on A-Historical, so we don't know how fast the Germans are going to move. They might move faster. They move, might move a little slower. There's no guarantee as to what will happen. Crumbs is a piece. Got about eight more days left for that one. And we got about roughly about the same thing here, too. Not bad. Oh, and there you go, Spain. Oh, Spain is nothing but pain. I can't imagine fighting the Spanish Civil War with all the railway stuff now. Oh, boy. But we probably will eventually. <clears throat> Shang-Chi. Look at that. Yes. Marco Polo Bridge Incident. I would love to send you volunteers, but the game rules, which I forgot about, don't let me. Oh. Arm Habsburg's militants. There are those in Czechoslovakia who long for the return of an absolute hereditary rule over their lives, and all we need to do is give them arms and they'll promote the Habsburg cause with force. Or we could go ahead and just do this one over here too. Oh, we can ban the Nazi party. Eventually, maybe. City British ship designs attract Poles here. It's not bad. Even though, such a defensive Poles is not bad either. National Defense Fund seems pretty good though. Hmm. 15% consumer goods. But then again, we're already... Oh, we're in 27%. Yeah. We need to build a little faster, probably. National Defense Fund. Citizens and state alike must contribute to the funding of a growing industry to prepare for the perils of years to come. Eventually. Eventually. Let's see. 37. We might need field hospitals. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, so what do we got here? Anyone else I could give us stuff? Captain Inventory would be very nice. More stability just pure. Stability is so good to get. It just helps you out so much. But I do want some more army XP. And we want a lot of army XP very quickly. Yeah, might as well. And then after that, we'll go down and get one of these guys. Because that'll help us get start our land doctor, which we are currently on what? We're on Grand Battle Plan. Oh, look at this. Spirit of the Academy, I forgot about this stuff. So, Spirit of the Academy. Basically, helps you select what happens on level up. Planning logistics on level up. XP for trickster commando naval invader gain. Oh, oh, Republic Karelia. Terrain chains. Fifty percent chance that officers are created with a brilliant strategist or an inflexible strategist trait. Cost goes down. Party popularity stability modifier. I kind of want to get more defense, but I, we can not. We don't need to do that yet. Some radar, that'd be actually kind of beneficial as well. Indication, probably, yes, that one too. And we can do this stuff here for the Navy, because the Navy doesn't really matter as much. Um, destroyer, research speed, naval designer, ex naval experience gain, ship modules, research speed, naval research speed, 20% is pretty good. Ship repair is pretty nice as well. I do like the ship repair, but re naval research speed, ship modules, that seems pretty good. And we're not going to be doing, honestly, we're not going to be doing that much with the Navy anyways, since we're Poland, so... Yeah, I'm not too concerned about that. As much as I want to do that one. Oh, oh Austria-Hungary. 
Well, we got kind of luck here. King Bohemia. Let's see what we can do about this. Oh, yes. Oh, look at these guys. On the 18 combo, nice. They're not great, but hey, I'd rather have them than not have them. Okay, the U.S. is pursuing interventionist policies. And the King's Guard. The King of Bohemia. This must be so good. At least 80 of Monarchy support. The King's Guard. The King has ambitions of military leadership, and who better for him to lead than his own personal royal guard? Why not? All right. Oh, now we have 30. 15 for double, which is not bad. Add 10 marks. A random Czechoslovakian general gain secret monarchy sympathies. Three civvies? They get stuff. When removed, how long does this take? When aborted, they remove monarchy sentiments. It costs three civvies. Um, we do want them as fast as possible, so do that one. Why not? As much as I want to do that one, we'll wait for this one, because that's just better to do overall. Basic engines. Very nice. We want to get that one eventually, too. Some more armor. We do like the armor. Not bad. Do we have actually... We actually made another set. Look at that, huh? Not it's going to be very useful, but that's alright. The Kingdom of Bohemia. 80 monarchy support. If they accept, they become a personal union under us. I like that idea a lot. Uh, they're currently 30, which is kind of sucks, but whatever. How's Dazic looking? 20%, 70%? That's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. The King's God. Oh. We lose a thousand guns. We get 50 more monarchy... Monarchy support. Oh, I swear I can speak normally. I swear I can. So, do we get... Once this gets, like, 100%, like, compliance, do we just... get it as a core? Oh, hello. Hello, Ukraine. Oh, they have generic generic That kind of sucks. So... Oh, wow, that sucks for, uh... Those guys over there. Sucks to be you, uh... Soviet, uh Russian government. Just because... Huh. A two-front war? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, at least Russia's not going to... Well, hopefully not going to fight us for a while. The entire commentary on Chinese United Front allies, of course. I guess the British went there the same way? Of course, America's going to get involved faster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 0.15. Is it going to go up? That's a lot of time and support, man. austria hungary do be looking pretty nice, though. I need to play them again sometime. Treat Trina, on? That sucks. Oh, King of, King of Bohemia. Monarch sent him is high in Czechoslovakia. All we need to do is press our claim on the Bohemian throne, and the Czech government will no doubt fold our demands. Oh, do we get up to 80 already? Oh, wait, it, it left. Uh. Oh, we can do this one. Is it worth doing this one, though? I kind of want to grab this guy already, so... Military theorists would be really beneficial. It's 10%. It's, it saves 10 army XP, which is, is that worth it? Go and do that one first. I'll take whatever we can get. Tiny controls next, probably, though. Oh! Goodbye, Tanu. What? Tanu Tuba? Tanu Tuba. Kingdom of the. Oh, we have a kingdom. A resistance purge. Well, sounds like a very communist thing to do. Well, it looks like they're going. What route? Oh, they're going to. Pe uh, King for Peoples. Which is not bad. Okay, they support monarchism in Poland. Yeah. You bet that you will. Restore the Commonwealth. Gain cores on all that territory. Nice. Merge civilian industries. Okay, I can get on board with that. So. Guangxi clique. Titan control. Do we really need to do that though? I mean, we're already 79%, man. They're going up by 0 0.1. 0 0.2 ish. Oh, there comes Georgia. Oh, press Habsburg claim. Hungary has been too long without a king, and the Archduke Otto von Habsburg remains without a throne to call his own. We must press our relatives' claim on the throne and secure Habsburg rule in Europe. Uh, you're not with Bohemia. Mm. Oh! Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, this is not good. Wait, so we did all that focuses for nothing then? Hmm. The subject of us. Do we get anything with them? Royal Officer Court, or Habsburg Alliance. Propose an alliance between us both. Well, then, that seems kind of not great for us. Hmm. Well, then, if that's the case, is there any way that we can unite? You think the paradox might have 
would have uh, come up with a way for us to unite. Hmm. But it looks like there might not be any way for us to, which kind of sucks, not going to lie. So, Royal Officer Corps. How's the king in a general? Karl Albrecht stands as a shining example of all that a Polish gentleman should be. Perhaps all of our officers should be trained in the art of war as the king has in the trenches. Give it a few days and if nothing fires, like Habsburg, we're trying to ally with each other. Or we could do it together. Hmm. But that means we get locked out of uniting with Bohemia. Which we wanted that Czech industry as fast as possible. We get cores on all the states. Or we can trust in the West immediately. Or we can do a Habsburg alliance. Nah, I prefer doing these guys, doing the allies. Hmm, now a core. Well, that's not bad. That's what, kind of cool. Retake core state war goals. That's not bad. But it doesn't appear to be or have anything here where we can unite with Austria Hungary, which does sort of suck. Which I kind of wish there was something in here. But let's see if we can make a few funny things happen off screen. Well, everybody, I have basically had to replay the campaign just a little bit, in which just not the same world we're in. But, uh, yeah, we decided, you know what, I made sure that Hungary didn't go with uh, Ottoman and also. I've been developing my naval doctrine a little bit more. So with 100 naval XP, which is standard, then you can choose the next naval doctrine because we have so many subs. Why did I go? Why did I, why did I go fleet and being? I always use fleet and being, but whatever. Let's go sub stuff for now. Um, yeah, it's definitely not the same world. We have Estonia, who is now not a puppet of uh, the Soviet Union. I apologize about this. That uh, <laughs> it's not exactly the same, but uh, the Soviet Union is still struggling against the good old provisional Russian government, which seems to be doing quite well. They have volunteers. Apparently, uh, the. <sighs> oh, he's so handsome. So handsome. Oh. But, uh, see, you guys are going democratic, I guess. And Germany actually fell into civil war. And, uh, yeah. Definitely definitely different world this time. We still have Kingdom of Romania here. We're still, of course, the Kingdom. But, and also, Carlos Spain won the civil war. And America decided to go, this time, uh, non-interventionist. Neutrality focus. But, we are doing the King of Bohemia. Monarchist sentiment is high on the Czechoslovakia region. All we need to do is press our claims on the Bohemian throne and... The Czech government will no doubt fold to our demands. Well, at least that's the hope. Everything else I've done pretty much already. We have 100% compliance in Gdansk. And we need to ban the Nazi party next, but... Oh, we enter a union. In a strange turn of events, both the Kingdom of Bohemia and the Kingdom of Poland will come both under the rule of Karl Albrecht I. Though the two nations remain separate for now, the shared head of the state means that they are inseparably tied diplomatically. It seems likely that this personal union will soon evolve into a unification of Czechoslovakia and, and Polish states, but for now the union remains purely diplomatic. Now we did this one earlier. I don't mind going to unite with Bohemia first. We just get get everything immediately. We're the king on the throne of both Poland and Bohemia. All we need to do is unite the internal administration of Poland and Bohemia, and the dream of West Slavia will be achieved. Also, I did grab this guy over here, Thomas uh, Luspazako. Oh, oh. Do they want to? Hmm. Zero to zero to become free. Nice. You are under the chain. And actually, I love Grand Battle Plan so much. I don't know why. I just. Oh wait, we get more daily command power. Oh, the land doctrine was also. Uh, Altered, we could say. More daily command power is really nice. We don't really need it right now, but... Hello, Wilhelm II returns to Germany. Nice. Cool. Awesome. Uh, so we're looking okay here. Uh, as I did say, though, Gdansk is fully under us. A little bit of resistance here, but that's okay. Um, other than that, join check industry would be nice. Ooh, and it is, of course, 1930. Everybody, hope you're having a great, great year. I'm doing okay myself now that we got these guys with us. Very nice. Also, supply. If F4 is the supply button. Right now, we have really bad supply in the mountains here. Makes sense. Also, one thing that we do need to keep an eye on is the supply from the capital. Our capital is no, Krakow. But, as you can see, we have motorization levels. So, if you double-click it or click it again, you can go to motorize, which slightly increases the supply. You do it again, which reduces more trucks. Then, you can go up and use more trucks for even better supply. So, I like doing a lot of trucks just because we're going to run out of supply very quickly, very soon. It's not a good time when you don't have supplies, and I just beat my head in just so much. It's just so much when you don't have enough supply. Um, so yeah, not bad. You know, with Bohemia, we've got quite a bit more army XP, which I am, as much as, this is really good. I want as much army XP as possible. But do we have anyone else down here? Um, King of the Castle, no. Honestly, one thing I like with that Paradox did, like I said earlier, is that when you go down a certain political route, the other trees are disabled. Ooh, what do we do? Is seeking alliance with the Kaiser? Huh. That's not a bad idea, actually. But one thing I would recommend, maybe for Paradox, if possible, what I was going to say, remove the ministers that we cannot use because we already went down a certain way. Now, we might go back this way later on, which I think, if that's possible, then have these ministers come back 
but I don't know if Paradox is watching at all. But one thing, especially with in like 34 minutes or something like that of the video, but if they were to like watch, remove the minister so we don't have to like scroll through everyone and say, oh, we can't choose this person. Oh, we can't choose that person. But if we do go that direction later on, then we should get those ministers back, which I think would be a really cool addition to the game. Just make it a few more quality of life changes. Ooh, military parade. Reform the Commonwealth. We do want to take out Lithuania. Uh, they did go with uh, Kingdom again, which is nice. Uh, abolish a presidency. That's not bad. How, can we... Uh, still can't justify them. Uh, why? Why? Mm, nothing really there. Too much armor. I want to get more of that stuff. Smooth talking is okay. Aristocrat is not bad. War industrials is not bad either. Uh, stability would be so good, though. Captain of industry. Stability versus consumer goods. But I want more army XP. I want as much army XP as possible. Hmm. But then again, you get more output. We need more output. Let's get Mr. Stability. Actually, can we get any more? Let's do improved working conditions first. It's going to hurt our consumer goods a little bit and factory output. But once it'll put, put us over, like, quite a bit, give us quite a bit more stability, which would be very nice. Get more output. Get all that stuff done. Yeah, I think that would be the right way to do it. Hmm. It's going to take a while to do. Why don't do that one? Why not? I'm still building some cities up, but it's nice having an ally here. It's quite nice. Um, come over here, maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens, because with the Germans now, monarchist, which is very nice. Actually, I think it's still the Tsar's up here. So we made a very monarchist world, but that doesn't mean that we want to keep it that way. So, perhaps that's for claim. Actually, let's come over here. I want to, I want to do the Gdansk thing. Ban the Nazi party. We've garnered enough support amongst populace of Gdansk that we may officially purge the city of Nazis and reclaim the city for the Polish state. Oh, you betcha. Oh, there's stuff here, too. Uh, go to oh oh with the Maddox oh that's so nice oh that's so nice uh, get more get, get way more guns get way more fighters um, we're still using the interwar light tank chassis which is not great still very usable but it's not great artillery is where it's not actually bad at all we need a little more of that too mm, go with more light tanks we we definitely improve our light tanks oh oh what is this what does that do has been decommissioned oh okay. That's not bad, actually. The template we're using right now is this. Uh, before we forget, that's not a bad template. We'll probably switch everyone to this template, actually. What is a good... That is not bad. Yeah, you know what? Just in case. I forget for later. There, you guys do that. That'll be good. Uh, these are the current... Oh, templates are pretty good. Template 3 is... It's pretty decent. I like template 3. Can we... All of these guys... You guys are... Uh... 18 combat with with no support equipment, which means we're going to need quite a bit more support equipment. We need quite a bit more artillery. We'll gain manpower, infantry equipment back. Seven twos are okay. Uh, maybe mm hmm. As much as I like that one, infantry template. Oh, that's so bad. All right, we'll just keep it like this. You know, we'll keep it like this. It's still not bad. Can we throw on at least one thing of infantry here? It just make them very defensive. And throw on ooh engineers. Get some arty first. It's fine. Um, let's see, you guys are 18 combat with. Switch over to this type of division template. That'd be nice. There you go. Boom, boom. Do that. Thank you. Everyone else, do something like that. Supplies will be very bad down here, probably, though. So, actually, let's do that like that. You take three armies. Go down here like this. Boom, boom, boom. And we will train, train, train. Oh, look at that. He's a war industrialist. He's already an advisor, though. Requires level four. We still have Sanation Leader. That's fine, whatever. So you should be fine doing that there. You are over here with more infantry. 20 combat is not bad. And, oh god, this is a mess. You guys are 6 combat width. Uh, not great. You guys come over to there. And go and convert yourselves to that. It's fine. And you guys are not bad either. Send you over there. And cavalry is not bad. I can throw you in there too, but I'll keep you like that for now. Never know what them German boys are going to be doing. Alright, not bad. Pacific? Yes, yes. Of course, that template has been decommissioned, of course. Do we have any. Any more trucks? We'll gain support equipment. I guess might as well try that one for now. And you need a leader such as Stanislaw Kopanski. Kopanski. Cool. We're going to banish that Nazi party. And then what? Oh, Uzbekistan killing Russia. Nice. Nice. 
Uh, we'll probably do this one off screen as well, but then I'll probably go ahead and press the Habsburg claims. Hungary has been too long without a king, and the Archduke Otto von Habsburg remains without a throne to cause home. We must press our relatives' claim on the throne and secure Habsburg rule in Europe, so we can finally go and do that one. And which right now, uh, armor, it's not bad to grab. Mm. Oh, we're out of manpower too, that sucks. Wow. Mm. What do we want here? We need more arty. We got plenty of guns, which we'll need for later on. Let's trade away from one aluminum. France. We ban that there, nasty party, which is great, great, great. And let's go and do this one first so we can go ahead and see if they will submit to our rule. Because right now they're actually in the Pact of Rome. Wait, hold oh. Wait, they're in the Pact of Rome. Without Italy. Okay. But, unfortunately, my friends, that is all the time that we have for today. I hope you enjoyed the first video. We didn't need to do too much. We didn't need to do any war for stuff. But we're setting ourselves up so that Poland can become quite mighty and thick. And I love how we're poking our little giant head into Germany's little rectum. But, anyways. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will engage and probably strike out and make the Kingdom of Poland even bigger. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.